How would you describe the God you, you believe in? I don't know. Mm -hmm. But you, but, but. I haven't found one. But Cheyenne, you do believe there is a God. Yeah. So we can start with that. Okay. Okay. So I do believe that God testifies in three different ways, Cheyenne. Mm -hmm. He testifies to us in nature. Look up, look at the stars. Mm -hmm. Look at the planets. Look how our own earth revolves around how God has set everything in perfect symmetry mm -hmm. to make sure that we're not any closer to the moon, any closer to the sun so we won't burn up. Mm -hmm. If we were closer to the moon, the oceans would flood us. If we were closer to the sun, we would burn up. If we're farther from the sun, we would freeze. Mm -hmm. God has set everything up in perfect harmony for us. Psalm 19, the heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the work of His hands. Day after day they pour forth speech, night after night they display knowledge. There is no speech or language where their voice is not heard. Mm -hmm. So he, he speaks to us in His creation. And Cheyenne, he also speaks of that in Romans chapter 1 where he says, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. For what can be known about God is plain to them, because God has shown it to them. For His invisible attributes, namely His eternal power and divine nature, had been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world. God has shown Himself in nature. Humans are without excuse. Would you agree with that? Sure, yeah. Okay, the second thing. Romans 2.15, God has written His law in our hearts. Cheyenne knows what's right and wrong. You know why? Not because of some evolutionary model or not because you're just accepting what everybody else believes. Mm -hmm. Cheyenne knows what is right and wrong because God has placed it in your heart. Uh, I think it's a learning. It's a learning. You learn what's right and wrong. But, but who, who, who decides the foundation of right and wrong? Society? God has placed right and wrong in your heart. You know what is right because God has placed that in your heart. And Ecclesiastes 3.11, Cheyenne also tells us that God has placed eternity into our hearts. Mm -hmm. And that's why I believe that when you said you believe in God, it's because God has placed eternity in your hearts. Mm -hmm. So God has expressed himself in nature. Men are without excuse. Everybody knows that God is in nature. Mm -hmm. He's expressed himself in our conscience because he's placed his law on our hearts. And here's the third thing. God has specifically told us about himself in this book, right here, Cheyenne. Okay. He's told us about himself in this book, in the Bible, which is read by more people than any other book in history. It's the best-selling book in history. Okay. Billions of people over time have trusted in this for their salvation as God has answered this question on the board. He's answered it mm -hmm. by telling us that it is him who has already decided we're under the penalty of sin. He sent His Son to live the perfect life for us, to redeem us from our sin. And when Christ rose from the dead, we will also defeat death and rise from the dead. And if we're trusting in Christ, the, the Bible here says, Jesus said in John 5, 24, whoever hears my word and believes Him who sent me has eternal life. You will no longer be condemned. You have crossed over from death to life. Mm -hmm. So Cheyenne, I've said a lot. Hmm? I've said a lot. What do mm -hmm. you think about what I've said? Um, I mean, I'm, it's kind of what I came to ask for. I mean, I learned more. Obviously, I'll take it into, not consideration, well, consideration, but I don't know how to word it. I mean, I came asking, I don't really know much about Christianity, and I learned a lot from you. Okay. So, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Let me, let me leave you with this, Cheyenne, okay? Okay. Acts 17, 30 and 31. The times of ignorance God overlooked, but now he commands all people everywhere to repent mm -hmm. because he has fixed a day on which he will judge the world in righteousness by a man whom he has appointed. And of this, he has given us assurance to all by raising him from the dead. Mm -hmm. Who's that man? Jesus. Jesus, that's right. And so God is commanding you to repent mm -hmm. and believe in his son. And I'm gonna be praying that God will draw you to that truth. Okay. Thank you for your time, Cheyenne. Thank you.